David Dobrik and the rest of the vlog squad are all in a mess right now. Not only has Jeff, Tana, and Trisha talked about them exposing how they are behind the scenes, but now Jonah is coming out to reveal how he joined the group in the first place, saying that he basically lied about how he joined in the past and was actually a creepy fan of David's who managed to sneak his way into the group. Like I said, it's a mess right now. Jonah was recently on Joe's podcast where they were talking about the fact that Jonah likes to DM a ton of people. And Joe brings up David, thinking Jonah met him organically. But Jonah says that's actually not the case and proceeds to admit that he was a huge fan of David in the vlogs and basically stalked his way into being friends with everyone. You and Dave met organically, right? No, stalked him. What do you mean? Stalked him. No, you didn't. I did. I don't think you actually stalked him. Swear to you, I stalked him. <laughs> I went to his meet and greet behind Zane's house. Uh, behind uh, uh, Scott's house, sorry. Whose videos were you watching at the time? David's. You watched David's I video. studied every fucking vlog. And then what? He What'd he do? He went to the meet and greet. There was like a thousand He posted people. on his Snapchat? I don't remember where the fuck he posted it. Uh, my cousin hit me up. He's like, yo, David, we're having a meet up. I studied his videos, bro. I was like literally watching his shit. And I was like, like, I can make this guy's videos better. So then I went to the meet and greet, and I'm like, I'm just going to go up to him and tell him a joke. And I'm just going to go be funny, you know? Like, he'll turn his camera on, probably. There's probably, like, 2,000 people there, actually. It was a lot. It was a lot, man. I don't remember exactly how much it was. There's a lot of people there. And were you just thinking, <laughs> I'm going to get close with this guy? Yeah. Yeah. No, I genuinely thought, I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be, like, one of the members in the, on the squad. I'm like, I'm going to fucking do it. Like, And I told my cousin, too. I'm, like, I'm going to fucking do it. Have you ever told people this before? No. No. It was weird. So Jonah was really determined to be in this group, but when he was on Jason's podcast not too long ago, he told the story of how he got into the vlog squad and filmed their first video together a little differently. Jason said that Dom brought him over to the apartment with David, and Jonah says he only kind of knew who David was. Somebody brought Jonah in to the apartment, and uh, they were like, watch, I can hit this guy in the face. I can hit this guy in the face. Was he hitting you in the face or the stomach? Both. Yeah, he's hit. He's like, this guy takes punches like crazy. And Jonah was just <laughs> sitting there. And obviously, like, the first time you see Jonah, you're like, I mean, David and I thought the same thing. We saw him. We were like, oh, my God. Like, this guy's comedic gold. I film with you guys. Yeah. We do this bit. Sell it. You know, we sell. I sell it to, I, I, you know, it's funny, I guess, you know. I know I kind of knew what his bits kind of were, so I was like, okay, cool. You got to kind of be a little extreme. Mm. He uses those little clips and shit. Yeah. So I kind of knew him, kind of didn't, um, but not fully. And then I called my I called my cousin. I'm like, yo, you know this kid named David Dobrik? He yeah. flips out. He's like, bro. He's like, you and I went to the meet and greet. <laughs> I was like, fuck, dude. I was like, was it that guy? Like they closed the streets off and shit. He goes like, you got to join. You got to join their squad, man. Like if you do, your career is set. And I'm like, God damn, uh, I'm like, you're right. Jonah is saying he didn't want to come out and say the real story until he had built a career of his own and only just recently admitted this all to David that he had basically plotted to be friends with him. I, I, I had to like, I, I feel like I had to build like my own like little career. I had to build my own brand and then I I, 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 I admit to him. I just admitted to him a couple days ago at the restaurant. Yeah, he had no idea. Yeah, I had no clue. So I told him. Now things get a little more weird when he said that because nothing ever came from him going to the meet and greet, he decided to turn things up a notch and he actually went to David's apartment that he used to live at and he waited around for David to come home. Like he went uninvited, not with Dom. He just went and stalked him, got in the elevator with David, but like the meet and greet, nothing really came of the elevator situation. Didn't work out. Left him like to my cousin. I'm like, I'm like, God damn it, dude. I'm like, well, I'll get him. I'll get him. And then I went to his fucking house. Went to his his apartment? House. Yeah. Invited or uninvited? Uninvited. I went to his apartment and then I, I ran into him on the elevator and I saw his camera and I was like, I just need him to hit record. <laughs> I'm like, I just need him. I need him to hit record and, I'll, and I will give him gold. Did anything happen in the elevator? No, nothing happened. He was just Did like, you talk to him? He was just like kind of awkwardly like standing there looking up. Just the two of you in the elevator? I think what it, yeah, I think so. I think it was just me and him. What I would give to see that footage. Same. From in the elevator. Same. Like this is some crazy stuff 
to hear. Like maybe he should have kept this to himself because this is just wild. But then he goes on to talk about the time that he really got to meet David and it was through Dom, which most people in the vlog squad don't mention him by name anymore. But it was Dom who was the one who kind of gave Jonah this opening chance to show David that he would do anything to be in a video. I didn't go to the house that day. A mutual friend was like borrowing something from him and he's like, oh, it's at David's house. And I was like, okay, David, I'm like, I, I know, I know who this David guy is. So he's like, to me, he's like, stay in the car. And I, he, I stayed in the car. But then after he went upstairs, I went upstairs too. I didn't tell him I was going upstairs. I was like, all right, I'm going to go upstairs. Knocked on the door. Did you go like, in with, with... I can't remember what I said. I think it was like, oh, like, oh my God, what's up? Like, Did you go in with the mindset of what you wanted to do? 100%. You knew. I knew. I knew. I was like, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to create a character. I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to crush it. And then I'm going to have him record. Because I already knew what the, vlog, the vlogs were about. I already knew what it was about. I was like, I'm like, I was like, okay, it's four minutes, 20 seconds, chaotic jokes 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 just a bunch of going down i have went soon as i'm there soon as i land down into that apartment into the house i'm on and that's what i did i was in the vlog for a minute and now i'm just wondering if he somehow became friends with dom because he knew he was friends with david because at this point i would believe it but he seems to know that this whole thing is creepy and weird i'm a creep whatever it was weird it was like a weirdo thing to do like it was, it was very creepy i was like but I just need this shot and I'm going to, I will change these, I, not change, but I will, I'll, I'll contribute as much as I can to these bits too. But like, dude, I was like, I was like, I'm like 30 bucks a day, bro. I was like, oh my God, I need it. I was like, I f need it. I need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. But yeah, it was cool. It's, it's funny. I mean, I was, I was, a, I was a creepy fan. Straight up. That was a creepy fan. That's one of the coolest stories I ever heard. Really? Actually. Yeah. No, I was literally, I was literally a fanboy. I was literally a creepy fanboy. I was, I was standing on Vine, bro. I was literally waiting for like Logan Paul and walk by. No, like seriously, you guys, look at Joe's eyes while Jonah is talking. He is like, who is sitting in front of me right now? Like, this is scary. But he continued to say that he was trying to work himself into any group of influencers. And obviously, David was the one that he ended up getting in with, which Jonah seemingly having worked so hard to be a part of the vlog squad, I see why he wouldn't want to risk his stance in it by being friendly with Jeff. It's messed up, but the thing about it is if he was already a fan of David, then meeting him and being friends with him was something that he had been dreaming of and hoping for. And this is an idol of his, someone he looked up to. And the power imbalance there is just not equal. And some people are willing to look past a lot of stuff when they're around someone that they idolize like that. And clearly Jonah was willing to look past a lot with David because this is someone that he's idolized forever now. And it's why he did all the crazy stuff he did for the vlogs and let them treat him the way that they did and change his name and all of that. They didn't know that he was a fan on the low, but they certainly took advantage of the fact that he was so willing to do all that stuff for content. And it's really sad when you think about that dynamic. Like obviously he was willing to do all that stuff because he was a fan and he viewed David with these rose colored glasses and now probably feels like so in debt to him because him and his family are taken care of because of all that David has given him. I mean, it's just really twisted. And when Jeff was recently on Trisha's podcast, he was talking about how he thought he was genuinely friends with Jonah and he liked filming with him on his own YouTube channel for his barbershop videos. But after everything went down with him and David, Jonah was forced to choose sides and told Jeff that David told him he couldn't hang out with Jeff anymore. I didn't want to have to cut everyone off, you know, but he made it like that. Yeah. Like I had a, a barbershop episode planned with Oliver Tree and he wanted Nick there. He wanted Jonah to be there for the episode. So I was like, you know, it shouldn't be an issue. You know, like this was after uh, TMZ put it out that, you know, now we're fighting out in court. And Jonah was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Cool. And then I get a call back an hour later and he's like, nah, Dave said I can't do it. And I was just like really That's hurt crazy. by that because I love that kid. You know, I love his family. I really looked at him as a, a yeah. real friend, you know, mm -hmm. like he moved into my old apartment. We lived next door to each other. We would cook food together. If I was going through something, he'd bake me cookies. You know, like yeah. we had a real friendship. And to hear that, I was like, okay, that's how this game is. I just got to learn to take my emotions out of this and just find real people to hang out with and just 
get over it. And I mean, clearly, instead of being like, this is so messed up, he just stuck with David probably because he still is just looking at him as this superior person because he worked so hard to be in the group and he idolized David and he finally got in with him. Even though Jeff is out here really well liked by the public, creating content he loves, making money, having fun, and he's around people who uplift him. But Jeff said in the same episode with Trisha and Tana that some of the vlog squad members just don't believe in themselves enough to detach themselves from the group and go off and do their own thing, calling out people like Jason for sticking by David through everything, even though David left their podcast and left them all to fend for themselves to stay relevant after he was done with the vlogs. They don't believe in themselves. I can't be mad at people because they don't have self-confidence to think that they could do their own, yeah. you know? Like Jason, he gave me a lot of opportunity. He would put me on stage, like go open for me and all that stuff. Like I'll forever be grateful for that. But you still don't even believe in yourself enough to try and do on your own. You think you need this guy and you'll stick with him even though it's you know that life. he did a lot of wrong, you know? Yeah. And he wronged you. He literally quit your show. I don't give a you know, you're not making money. You got played, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're literally no. just sitting there like taking all that. They just stuck by him and he made it that it need you needed to pick a side. So they go where the money goes. I feel like that's a lot of people too. But now it's dried up. He ain't paying nobody. He's doing Snapchats. Is that really is that that worth it for your career to yeah. try to be in the background of somebody's Snapchat? And he's or? not generous. Not he's paying people to like be in his. No. No, that's like what I'm that. saying. Now, David did do things in his videos, like give people cars. And when he stopped doing the vlogs, he gave Jonah and his family a restaurant, which they had dreamed about having their own spot for years. And so not only did Jonah already idolize David, but now he's gotten all these things from him. He probably feels so tied to being on his side, which is just crazy. Like I already saw how a lot of the vlog squad members probably fell in depth to David because he gave him things like cars and with Jonah the restaurant. But to add on top of it that he was a fan of David, that makes it even more intense for Jonah to be like drawn to David. It's just crazy to learn this. And Jeff, Trisha, and Tana talked about the fact that David did give these nice things to people. And I think, you know, it is why they feel this intense loyalty. But just because someone did one or two nice things for you or multiple, several, you know, nice things for you, it doesn't mean that they can control who you talk to, who you associate with. You're allowed to disagree with them. You're still your own person at the end of the day. Obviously, it's harder when you feel like someone is a little bit in control of your life. And I feel like they all feel like David kind of controls their whole world and is their money maker and is what keeps them going in this influencer world. But I do think that if one or two of them or all of them or a couple of them came out and posted a video talking about all the things they didn't like about being in the vlog squad and what they went through and all that stuff, people would support them. And I think that even Jeff would be like, hey man, I was feeling that same way, that same loyalty to David at one point, I get it. I think they would be somewhat supported, at least that they made the jump to be on their own. I don't know, just a thought. Obviously the group is problematic and they have been problematic and that will stick with the members, but I do think that people would show respect to the fact that someone was able to step away and go against David. Like Jeff was met with a lot of love when he went against the group, even though he had come out and tried to defend David at one point. But this whole thing is just such a mess. The whole dynamic of the group, but that's what Jonah had to say about how he really ended up being part of the vlog squad and what Jeff shared about David making people choose sides and how loyal they want to keep being to him despite what happened to Jeff. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.